Thursday, the Navy officially suspended the search for three sailors who were lost at sea after their transport plane crashed into the Philippine Sea. Among them is Lieutenant Steve Combs, a Navy pilot who'd planned to be reunited with his family at his sister's wedding next month. Now his family is grieving together here in the Bay Area. It's a painful blow for the 28-year-old's family and friends. Today, Fox 13's Kelly Cowan spoke to those who knew Combs best. They say the Navy pilot may not have made it home, but his final act on Earth meant eight others were able to. You know, there are people in this world who, who say they're patriotic. The son of Navy sailors. And then there's others who actually live it. Whose dreams of flying. Whatever he set his mind to, he could do, and he, he, uh, he never stopped until um, his goals were complete. Took him to ultimate heights in the U.S. Navy. He was the embodiment of what it meant to be proud to be a part of this country. Before tragedy would leave Lieutenant Stephen Combs lost at sea. Well, we found out earlier he was missing, and... Um, that was probably the toughest day for us. Combs is among the three sailors who went missing after their C-2A Greyhound transport plane crashed into the Philippine Sea. Eight sailors were rescued, but Combs, Airman Matthew Chialostri, and Airman Apprentice Brian Grosso were never found. When they tell you someone's missing, you, you kind of know that the odds are not. In their favor. Combs's older sister Elizabeth, a major in the U.S. Air Force, says her family is devastated. We're, sh we're shattered. The lieutenant's sisters flew to their parents' manatee home and were there when the Navy officially called off the search for him on Thursday. He was he, he was my my friend, my first best friend, and I will I will love him forever, and I will. There will never be a day that goes by that I don't miss him. But through their grief, Elizabeth says her family is extremely proud of Combs's final accomplishment, landing an aircraft in high swells in a way that still allowed eight servicemen to return home to their families. To know him is to know that there's goodness. To know him, to know is, you know, there's someone who will always have your back. I wouldn't expect any less of Steve to battle the toughest conditions and still accomplish the goal. Kelly Cowan, Fox 13 News. The Navy says it is still investigating the cause of the crash and will remain focused on its mission to ensure peace and stability in the Indo-Asia Pacific region.